Allison here, your longevity rescuer. This part of the journey of checking off your bucket list is about seeing the world through the eyes of a child. It's so interesting because you know that, that circle that's your comfort zone? Well, it's when you step outside of that circle. That's where the magic happens. So welcome. Let's go along this journey. My first time across Canada. I hope that you'll be inspired to, to do something completely new this year. I arrived in Wawa at the best northern resort at 5.30 p.m. It was dusk and I was grateful to have been following a truck as this is moose country. The weather's predicted to be beautiful all weekend. The owners of the resort are gone and the cook was doing the office work. She gave me a room with a fireplace, albeit electric, and allowed me to break the house rules and bring a glass of wine into my room. My plan tomorrow is to travel 1,056.3 kilometers to make it to Falcon Lake Resort, Manitoba. I hope you enjoy these photos of my digs and the sunset over the lake, Lake Superior, taken with my new iPhone. I finally broke down and bought one for this trip, even though I really reject cell phones. Driving through northern Ontario was amazing. There were miles and miles of scruffy black spruce with scrawny branches and tufted tops. Then the forests of silver birch that stretched for miles, going over the mountain roads that were sliced into red rock. Some places the red color was so vivid it took your breath away. <laughs> there was no safe place to stop and take pictures on the narrow winding roads. The feeling of wilderness was unbroken. Arriving at my destination of Falcom Lake, Manitoba, I was delighted to be given a room with a jacuzzi and a surprising comfortable bed. No way to sit on the broken couch though. And the real fly in the ointment was the satellite was down. So no internet and no iPhone connection. After another one of those amazing homemade meals, so glad to have packed enough food for the trip. A glass of wine and a relaxing hot tub, I slept like a log. When I was leaving Wawa in the early morning, a lone gray wolf casually trotted across the road in front of my car. It was amazing to see him. And then to have the picture of the wolves in my hotel room, the synergy was just amazing. I woke up this morning at what I thought was 4.30 a.m. and got an early start by 5. In actual fact, the time change, with the time change, it was only 4 a.m. Driving through the roundabout at Winnipeg in the dark was extra tough with a thick blanket of fog that lasted all the way through Manitoba. I was fortunate to get behind a huge Ford pickup truck from Ontario that had big fog lights. The driver wasn't bothered by the fog at all, so I stuck close to his tail the whole journey through Manitoba. There was a pretty bad accident involving many cars, one that went off the road into a fence. I was glad to have that pickup truck to guide me, as I could, couldn't even see the road signs. But when you're following your heart's desire and expanding your consciousness, the universe protects you. I felt safe in spite of the weather. Sometimes the fogs lifted and all the trees looked like beautiful greeting cards with sparkling frosted branches. Even the hood ornament had an inch of frost, con like condensed ice on it. And it was perfectly shaped in the Mercedes insignia. Unfortunately, when I stopped for gas, the attendant knocked it off before I could get a photo. I miss seeing so much of Manitoba. Saskatchewan, I did see, and it was so flat. There were miles of fields, and the only trees seemed to be windbreaks planted by farmers. The strange part was there was hardly any houses. Where do the people that cultivate all this land live? It was a real relief to finally make it to God's country, as a cowboy friend describes Alberta. I needed a reliable internet connection to get some work done. I understand the weather is still stormy in BC. Hopefully it will have passed by the time I arrive. Maybe I'll hole up here for a day. B 
be fun to go on the water slide, and according to an old lady I met, there's a casino attached to the hotel. She comes down from northern Alberta to gamble. She was operated two weeks ago for colon cancer and says life is short and you have to do what you love. After traveling through every kind of weather, including a blizzard in Rogers Pass in the Rocky Mountains, seeing so many different animal warnings, I am now home. And I'm grateful, so grateful to have stepped out of my comfort zone and let the magic happen to have ticked off another item on my bucket list. I wish you to do the same and make this the best year yet.